Hello everyone, we here at JSG Outdoor Adventures were so pleased with the overwhelming response we received from our last cooking video, Baked Walleye, that we decided it was time to jump back into the kitchen and bring you another one of our favorites. Today, we are going to be making baked honey sriracha salmon. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's a recipe that my wife found online. It's very simple and easy to make, and we're pretty sure that you're gonna enjoy this one. So, let's jump into the kitchen and we'll get cooking. And remember, please hit the subscribe button and the like button so we can continue to bring you these videos. Thank you. All right, let's get baking. First, we're gonna take our nine by 13 shallow baking pan and line it with tin foil. You can, the recipe calls for greasing the pan. You can use butter. Today, I'm gonna use the Never Fail cooking spray. Spray the pan generously so your fish does not stick. I have my salmon filet. This is a coho, this is a thinner filet. As you can see, the skin is still on one side. That's fine. You can do it with or without the skin. If you do have the skin on the filet, put the skin side down. So we're gonna do two fillets today. The recipe calls for one, but today I'm gonna double it because these are smaller fillets, so we are going to cook two. After you have your fillets on your pan, you can season to taste with salt and pepper. Then I'm going to take some sliced lemons, place them around the edges underneath the fillets. All right, there we go. Now, our oven has been preheated to 400 degrees. We're going to put the salmon fillets in the oven for 10 minutes, and while it's in there, we're going to make the honey sriracha sauce. Okay, while our salmon is baking for 10 minutes, I'm gonna take my glass saucepan and mix together the honey sriracha sauce. So first we are going to start with two tablespoons of butter, but remember I'm doubling the recipe today, so I'm gonna use four. Then it calls for one third cup of honey, of sriracha sauce, excuse me, one third cup of sriracha sauce. Which I've doubled, so I'm using two thirds. One third cup of honey which I've doubled to two thirds.
one teaspoon of minced garlic. And then two tablespoons of soy sauce. If you'd like, you can use low sodium soy sauce. Then we are going to put this on the burner and heat this up. Okay, I have all my ingredients in my saucepan. I'm going to turn on some low heat. And I'm going to bring this to a low boil. All right, our salmon has been in the oven for 10 minutes now. We're going to take it out. Looks like that, looks beautiful. And we will put our honey sriracha sauce on top and return it to the oven for five more minutes. All right, so we bought our mixture to a low boil. Now we are going to place two thirds of this sauce mix onto our salmon fillets, return them to the oven for four to five minutes. When we take the salmon out of the oven, we will put the remainder of the sauce onto the salmon and garnish it with cilantro. All right, that's what it looks like. You have to be careful, your pan is gonna be hot. So back into the oven for five more minutes. Okay, our five minutes is up. While our salmon was baking in the oven, my wife graciously jumped in the kitchen and sauteed some fresh asparagus, 
so we can have asparagus with our honey sriracha salmon. Let's take it out of the oven and see what it looks like. So there you go. Looks wonderful. Now if you choose, you can take the remainder of your sauce and apply more to your salmon fillets to your liking. So I like this sauce so I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to garnish with my cilantro. And that's what it looks like. A real simple but tasty recipe for your salmon fillets. Try it this summer. We know you're going to like it.